Open Textbook project was a project that we started with Suzanne back in November 2014. Uh, and the idea here was to create the first globally crowdsourced book on fintech. Suzanne and I, we both started our own fintech ventures and there was no single knowledge source on fintech. So we thought, let's do it. It was really interesting to see perspectives that were ranged from ex-bankers all the way down to tech providers to startups, all coming together with one objective and as that of identifying that uh, or describing how di digital is changing financial services. I think it's a fabulous uh, project. Fintech is about collaboration and that's a demonstration of uh, collaboration and very proud to be part of it. The, the best thing I think is gathering all those expertise on various topics. So that's a great way to learn fast about the ever-changing world of fintech. When this project started, it was a dream for me. And now it's a dream come true, literally. You know, I see fintech is more sort of social innovation. And we see it from the book itself where it's kind of crowdsourced. Um, of ideas actually from around the world. I think it was an amazing project. I think it's not done before and we had a lot of fun collaborating and contributing and it's been great to uh, do the book signing. What Suzanne and uh, Janus are doing now to bring all the people together writing this book, sharing their knowledge, not just with each other but also with the rest of the world, is a great initiative. This is a special group of people. These are people that have come together to drive to one goal and that's to educate themselves but educate the globe really. It's the first of its kind. And what I would like to do now is to welcome all of you uh, to the FinTech book launch event. And that's what this FinTech book really is all about, to provide you an overview structure so that anything you read now all makes sense because you know where to slot it in, you know where it fits in in this global fintech landscape. It's not just a book about the fintech startup, it's not just a book about the incumbents, it's a book about the community in general, both the influencers, the startups and the incumbent in a single volume. So it's, it's a pleasure to, to host such an amazing event. Um, it, it is quite extraordinary what this book uh, came to be actually with all uh, the authors around the world coming together and publishing something that it's an amazing knowledge resource if you think about it. And as you know, we're only at the beginning. We're at the dawn of what can be achieved because there's so much more to go and so much more to achieve. The book, of course, is a terrific Bible to be able to refer and see where we're going to go. And it's great that a collective of people here have the same ambition, which is to change how we do business Going forward. The idea here which we're crafting is how do we enable fintech innovation to find the right channel to be able to get to the next customer, to be able to become profitable in a faster way because ideas are great, execution is very difficult. It will be an accessible tool for anybody who wants to learn about fintech. It might be a newbie, it might be an expert already in fintech, but people who would like to understand uh, the fintech ecosystem better, how to engage with it and how to be part of it, you know, how to make Maybe invest in the best fintech startups, how to learn what fintech innovation is all about. This book really is for you. We've sold um, approximately um, 2,500 copies even before going um, out um, to the books. For us that represents a bestseller already and we haven't, we haven't gone out the gate. Well it's already changed our lives. Five years ago you couldn't have potentially thought of uh, two people not knowing each other, being able to borrow and lend or put money in somebody else's project, for example, without knowing the guy. So all of this is happening today. But probably one of the most exciting things is that fintech is going to really impact the underbanked of the world, people who don't have access to traditional banking, and we will see a real real shift in places like Africa around helping people advance their lives through financial technology. In areas like you know blockchain um, and, uh, and the area we wrote about in the book which is the API economy which is how do you plug and play all of these fantastic bits of technology and business process so that you can actually create a new financial world. I'm super passionate about entrepreneurship and fintech is a collaboration on finance and technology and the creativity around it so I've really got a big interest in the fintech sector and how it's actually affecting the world globally and in particular um, emerging economies. So I think fintech will actually launch a lot of uh, creativity around the world. The banks have to react, we have to react faster than in the, in the history. Fintech uh, will change our lives like um, Amazon changed retail and fintech will change uh, the banking business 
the same way. I think that uh, fintech, uh, that's a movement that uh, shows banks uh, the path how to change and uh, how, to, how to be more innovative and, and use all these new modern technologies. The consumer needs it faster, more cost effective. We need things to move quicker. And if we keep operating the old way, we're never going to get to the next stage. And that's what FinTech is doing. And unlike any other disruptions we've had around the world, this one is actually going all around the entire ecosystem, banks, insurance, legal, accounting. That's a true disruption. I believe it's a fundamental change. Yeah? It is, I think it's that the change is the most fundamental since the invention of money. The fintech uh, growth very much will bring a couple of things to us. I think it's the focus on um, the customer experience that you see across uh, the, the fintech industry that will drive it. So it will be things such as transparency, efficiency, accessibility and fairness. And you know that can only be a good thing. The power will shift to, to those 99% who were disconnected from wealth management in the past. My hope is that fintech will change people's lives um, for the better. Um, I believe that financial services can be a force of good in the society. Banking will become invisible as a consequence of that. Um, and so uh, investing will also uh, change massively. We're going to apply what we learned uh, in the digital space also in, in um, banking and investing. Fintech is a massive role to play in giving true value, transparency and simplicity at a very basic level to every single person out there. Fintech will change lives simply because it's a, um, an ecosystem that um, allows for a greater number of people globally to join the middle class and I really firmly believe that after reading, having read and edited the book, um, effectively it's an opportunity for a more even and perhaps equal distribution of wealth globally. FinTech is going to transcend financial services and start creating whole new movements in other spaces. So take just one example, say like with blockchain technologies, everyone's going, oh, isn't that great for reducing foreign exchange fees and stuff like that? Well, I think it's great because suddenly you can create distributed publishing wow. platforms for people in areas of the world where they don't have freedom of press and freedom of speech. Suddenly, you know, you're taking the technology for FinTech and opening up a whole new um, um, movements for social equality around the world. But well, well done to you both. Well done. Cheers. Thank you.